here we are, sitting in the dark, pondering what's the best operating system. But I have seen the light, and it is glorious. And today, I'm going to show you my new operating system that I will be using henceforth. So with that, let's get on the desktop, because it is simply amazing in every way you can imagine. And here we are, Windows XP! Yes! Ah! Uh, oh, I remember this all the time. At the very start of my career, this operating system, I owe so much of my life to. It, uh, it really was an amazing, amazing accomplishment for anybody that ran a computer repair shop or knew how to remove viruses and charge people for it. Ah, uh, old Windows XP. It has Internet Explorer 6.0 on it. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I got Internet Explorer 8 on here now. It's amazing. Oh, let's see if it can pull up Google. Sure enough, it can. Can it pull up YouTube? Mm, it can't read security certificates properly. But, nonetheless, YouTube does eventually pull up. <laughs> I love it. Ah, Well, needless to say, you can install any Windows-based program you want on here. And even do MSN Windows Messenger? Uh, maybe not, actually. I think they shut down that service. Or you could also install Windows updates through here. Oh, my word. Look at this. Wow. The start of something special. So, needless to say, Windows XP, what a glorious operating system. So many people have so many fond memories. And why I say bring it back today, it's simple. Think of all the small businesses we will revitalize by infecting all the computers because this thing hasn't seen a security patch in probably two years. And that was just because the NSA exploit affected XP probably the worst. But beyond that, it's also very lightweight. If we look at the task manager, you can see out of a 4 gig system, it is only using 128 megs. That is something I can get behind. It also only has 22, wait, yeah, 22 processes running right now. Compare that to Windows 10's 120 processes. Ah, uh, the glories of Windows XP. How I've missed the nostalgia of the green and blue, and possibly the best feature of Windows XP that's not widely talked about, but was made a very interesting documentary. The Desktop Wallpaper. It's named Bliss. It was actually a real photo. For the longest time, I thought this was just CGI. But nope. A guy was driving on the highway, saw this right here. This glorious landscape pulled over his car, got out, set up his camera, and sure enough, that's how this shot was taken. Simply amazing. And that is probably the best part of XP. The wallpaper. Now you might be thinking I could add this wallpaper to my current desktop environment, or current operating system that is, but Microsoft paid a pretty pretty penny for this. It was a, a very lucrative deal for that actual photographer. Uh, he actually licensed this out to Microsoft, so uh, be careful by using this because uh, Microsoft might come and sue you. You just never know. That's why I say Windows XP forever.